In this video, we will try to understand what is present value and what is future value and how we calculate the present value from the future value and the future value from the present value. So we will learn that in this video. Okay, so uh, we know that $100 today is not the same as uh, $100 tomorrow. It is different, right? The value of money, the value of money decrease uh, over time. It, it decreases over time because of, you know, variety of regions. And, and it decreases at, uh, it decreases at what rate? Well, it decreases at interest rate, uh, you know, which uh, it, it, it gives without any risk, right? Uh, so uh, it decreases at normally at an interest rate. Uh, we, we call that interest rate as risk-free rate and, and, and I'll talk about more about it. Uh, the risk-free rate uh, is nothing but the interest rate uh, at which you will be able to earn uh, that kind of interest rate from a risk-free asset. That means uh, by investing in an asset which is completely risk-free. Okay. So we'll take an example and we'll understand it better. Okay. So let's say the present value of an asset, present value means the value of an asset today. Okay. So that's, we call it as present value. Okay. Let's say it's hundred dollar. Okay. So we have hundred dollar with us today. So that's the present value. Okay. And its value in future is known as future value. Okay. So, uh, its future value will have, it will have value, different value at uh, different, uh, period in future, right? In period one, it has the value of uh, you know future value one, and period two, it has value of future value two, and and so on. So how do we calculate the risk-free rate? Now we'll calculate the risk-free rate like this. Let's say you have uh, you you invest your hundred dollar in in an asset which is completely risk-free. So what are the assets which are completely risk-free? Uh, government bond, right? Government bond. Is a complete risk-free asset, and you uh, you got a uh, hundred ten dollar in the period one. Okay, so you invested hundred dollar today, and you you got hundred ten dollar in period one. So what is the uh, risk-free rate in this case? It's hundred ten minus hundred divided by hundred, which is ten percent. That means the risk-free rate is ten percent. So we can say that the value of, um, you know, the the value of hundred dollar decreases by ten percent with with time. Okay, and that's the main concept of present value and future value. That the uh, the uh, the value of a particular asset will not remain same over a period of time. So in future, its value is going to go down. And similarly, in future, if something has a value, its present value is less, lesser compared to, uh, you know, the future value, right? So that's the idea. The, with future, you know, if we go into the future, the value of an asset will go down, right? So how do we do a valuation of asset? So future values and present values, this, you know, these concepts, Concepts are very useful while valuing an asset and in, in finance it's heavily used. So let's learn how we compute. So we'll take an example to understand and we'll also use a formula how we compute the future value. So the future value of an asset whose present value is known to us can be you know, you know calculated like this. So future value is equal to present value and multiplied to 1 plus uh, the risk-free rate, the risk-free interest rate, which is given to us or which is known to us, and the period for which we are trying to, you know, predict uh, the future value. You know, it could be three months, it could be six months, one year, uh, and so on. Right. So we know the present value. We know the period for which, you know, we were trying to, you know, sort of forecast the future value, and then we know the risk-free rate. Right? So we can use this formula, future value is equal to present value multiplied to 1 plus rate of interest into period. Um, we can use this formula to calculate the future value. So let's take an example. So a company invests uh, $100 million for a period of 3 months. 
okay uh, at an interest rate of 5% okay so the interest rate is 5% and you know the period is 3% uh, 3 3 months okay so 3 months means you know 3 by 12 year right so that's the fraction of years we are trying to invest uh, money and the uh, the present value or the principal amount is known to us right which is 100 million dollar so we'll just use this uh, you know formula so future value of this particular asset is just the present value which is 100 million multiplied to 1 plus 90 that means which is the period divided by 360 90 means because this is 3 months so 90 days divided by 360 so you know that is the fraction of year we are investing the money and the annual interest rate is 5% okay so the interest rate is in, in, in terms of annual interest rate so we multiplied that with the period okay so it's 0 0.05 so we just converted that into fraction okay so 5% is nothing but 0 0.05 okay so when we, we'll, when we use the calculator and calculate this expression we found this amount that means after one period uh, which is three months if there is a risk free rate of five percent and you are investing 100 million dollar you will get you know this many uh, this many dollar or this amount of dollar at end of this period so this is the future value or in future this amount is exactly same as uh, the uh, 100 million today so if you go back you know calculate this present value you'll be able to you know find uh, get to 100 billion dollar so that's how future value and present value are you know related so then we learned what is the present value from future value how do we calculate present value from future value so it is easy the formula that we learned in the last slide can be simply rearranged to find uh, the present value from future value uh, so how do we rearrange so we know that future value is present value uh, multiplied to 1 plus rate of interest into period. So we'll just take this term, this term to the left hand side and we'll, we'll get the present value. So present value is, you know, we'll, we'll take this term to here. So it will, you know, we divide it here. So present value is future value divided by 1 plus rate of interest into period. Okay, so that's the present value from the future value. So we'll take an example. So we'll take the same example. So what is the present value of the cash flow of hundred million dollar after three months? So we know that after three months we will receive hundred million dollar, and the risk free rate that is known to us is five percent. So what is its present value? That means what is the value of this asset today? Okay, so we'll use this, you know, use this formula to calculate. So Present value is hundred million dollar divided by one plus you know ninety by three sixty, which is uh, the period for which it is uh, you know the, uh, the uh, we're calculating the uh, present value, and then multiply it to uh, the interest risk free interest rate, and we found this number when we use our calculator and calculate this, we'll we'll find this number. So um, the present value of an asset is you know much less than what uh, its value is in future so its value in future uh, three months i had is 100 million whereas it's not 100 million it's less than that 9 million 87 000, something like that okay um uh, sorry nine yeah nine million seventy um, uh, seven lakh sixty five thousand four hundred and thirty two dollar so that's less than 100 million right sorry 98 million not 9 million okay now so far we have talked only about one time interest right we one time period there could be a number of time periods right it need not be just one time period right so we can receive uh, interest at a regular period of time and in that case how do we calculate the present value and uh, future value technically in, in the language of finance we we call that as coupon that means we get to interest rate at a regular uh, period of time so technically we uh, in technical language we call that as a coupon payment okay um, so normally with contracts longer than one year we'll have this facility of you know getting a coupon payment uh, almost every year or almost every six months and so on so uh, and let's say that the interest or the coupon is you know same for the entire uh, for all the periods 
So for all n periods, the rate of interest is same. It's not changing. So let's assume that. In fact, for most asset in finance, it's it's the assumption, and it it really holds all the time. Uh, the future value is nothing but the present value multiplied to one plus interest rate, and this will be multiplied to uh, you know multiplied uh, you know uh, for n times because there are n periods in this case. Okay, so if it is you know yearly payment, you now this will be like uh, one uh, present value into one plus interest rate uh, to the power n, right? So you multiply uh, you know one plus interest rate, uh, risk free rate, uh, n times and multiply that with the uh, present value to find the future value. Now what about the period term that we had in the formula? Well, the period term is now in the you know in the power we are you know multiplying one plus interest rate that many times. Now if it is happily uh, happy early uh, interest payment, so we'll just have to you know divide it by two to take care of the um, to take care of the uh, to ensure that you know it's a happy early, right? So that's what it is. Uh, so how do we Calculate the future value. Well, we'll simply rearrange this formula. Well, future value is uh, sorry, present value is future value uh, divided by one plus interest rate um, and then uh, to the power n, where n is the uh, the number of periods. Okay, so future value and present value uh, uh, that we learned uh, in this video are heavily used in in the field of finance while valuing assets. And this is the, the fundamental concepts used while uh, you know uh, learning valuation in the uh, financial service industry.